Hi, I am Dr. Sophia, Consultant Fertility Specialist at Cloud9 Electronic City. That is also one of the commonly asked questions whether doctor can we go for a fresh transfer or should we go for a frozen embryo transfer. So the option to go for a fresh or a frozen embryo transfer lies on certain criteria like a fresh transfer if I have to explain to you is we do the egg removal, we fertilize the eggs and in the same month, in the same cycle, we do the embryo transfer that is called as fresh embryo transfer. Then the other one is called as frozen embryo transfer where we, we remove the eggs, fertilize them, form the embryos and freeze them and after a period of time we do the frozen embryo transfer. So the success rate is almost the same, fresh versus frozen, the success rate almost the same. But which patient should go for fresh or which patient should go for frozen lies on certain criteria. Like when we do the stimulation, IVF stimulations, we will be monitoring the number of eggs and the response by certain hormones like estrogen and progesterone. So these will be our guiding factors to decide whether we can go for a fresh transfer or a frozen transfer. So we have seen that if the number of eggs are lots, that is around more than 12 oocytes if we get, and if the estrogen value is high and the progesterone value is high, then these patients are not uh, perfect to go for a fresh transfer. We would ideally want to freeze the embryos and go for a frozen embryo transfer because we have seen that the complications which arises because of fresh embryo transfer when the estrogen is high or the number of eggs are more, the complication rates are very high, especially the complications like ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. It can arise when we do a fresh embryo transfer. Also, we have seen that if the progesterones are high and we do a fresh transfer, the success rate is not so good. So in such a case, we would ideally want to freeze the embryos and go for a frozen embryo transfers. So if I have to broadly explain that if the patient's number of eggs are less, estrogen value is less, progesterone is well within the normal limit, then we can go for a fresh embryo transfer. But if estrogens are high, progesterone is high, the number of eggs are more, then we would ideally go for a frozen embryo transfer. The success rate of both are comparable. We can go for both any either of the transfer. There is no difference in the success rate. But when it comes to the risk of complications, we have seen that the risk of complications in frozen embryo transfer is almost nil. The chances of complications, whereas in the fresh transfer, we have a complication risk of developing late ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome.